Something that I've been a huge advocate of are my mixing monitors, the Focal Alpha 50s. Now, I've used a lot of different mixing monitors over the years, and nothing I've used matches these in terms of how transparent they are. And when I say that, what I mean is how accurate they are for what's being recorded. I've had clients tell me that when they've listened to my mixes here and when they've listened to them at home, they said it sounds almost identical. A lot of speakers tend to color the sound and I found that these guys don't really do that. They do give you a bit of control though. There's a sensitivity switch, which kind of helps you tame down how loud or how quiet it is. But it also has a uh, low filter and a high filter, which you can tweak, which is great if you're in a small room or even a room that's too big and you need certain frequencies to be either tamed or accented. I don't know many speakers that let you do that that are in this price range. Something that I've only seen on a few speakers is there's a standby mode. So if you're not actually using your speakers, so if no sound is coming out of them, they'll actually automatically turn off after a little while, which is great because it saves you some, some money on your power bill. These aren't the most expensive in the Alpha line by Focal. They're only about 399 bucks Canadian at Long & McQuaid. However, if you're going to get speakers that are in this price range, I'd highly recommend getting these because nothing compares to the transparency or clarity that are speakers in that price range. I've, I've used everything from JBL speakers to Yamaha to, of course, everybody's first speaker, the Rockets. And I just got to say, like, these guys really hit it out of the park with their cheaper speakers. I've used a lot of different mixing monitors over the years and nothing has impressed me more than these active speakers. The rundown on the Alpha 50s are a 35 watt 13 centimeter woofer and a 20 watt 25 millimeter inverted dome tweeter. It has a frequency response of 45 hertz to 22 kilohertz. They also look pretty slick in my opinion. The only other thing that's really different in the other Alpha lines are you're just basically buying uh, larger speakers and a bit more wattage. So if you do need that, like if you want like an eight inch speaker or a 10 inch speaker and you want something that's like more close to 50 or 75 watts, then yeah, then I'd say get those. But if your budget's a bit lower, then these will do a great job. They're very comparable to the higher end models. As I said, all you're really paying for are just higher wattage and bigger speakers. I've used these speakers for a few years and I really like the clarity and control you get with them. I highly recommend them. These are all my thoughts on the Focal 50s. This is Lucas signing off.